What's going on everyone? Alex here. So it's been a while since I shared firstly a video. Sorry about that. Life got in the way. But also it's been a while since I shared my desk setup. I think the last one I did was in November of 2021 and a good bit has changed since then so I thought I'd kick the year off with my desk setup for 2023. All right so the first thing that I want to talk about and probably the most important thing when it comes to a desk setup is the desk itself. Now I have the famous Jarvis sit-stand desk from the company called Fully. It's a bit on the pricey side, but I figured I'll be sitting at this desk for years to come and I may as well spend the money now. So it lasts me. You can get much cheaper options on Amazon and stuff like that, but I decided to go for this one because I like to get quality products. So I went for the Dark Bamboo tabletop in uh, it's 140 centimeters by 80 centimeters deep. So it's nice and deep and it's pretty wide. 140 centimeters is pretty good for me. Also, I got the extra kind of touchpad controller thing it comes as standard with just an up and down button but I think that's a bit of a joke because you have to pay an extra 35 euro to get the memory presets and you know you're spending like six seven hundred euro the memory presets should come as standard but I got it anyway extra 35 euro and it is handy obviously you can have up to four presets saved so I actually use all four really good desk would definitely recommend getting it it is expensive but well worth it in my opinion all right, so then now looking at the main accessories. So this hasn't really changed since the last desk setup. I still have the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. I got that in March of 2021. And so I'm coming, coming up to two years now at this stage. I went for the 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I upgraded it from the standard eight, just in case I needed a bit more power and the laptop is amazing for me. I got the standard um, amount of storage, so 256 gigs of storage mainly because I use these external SSDs. I, I use the SanDisk one, I know the Samsung ones are very good as well. But yeah, these are perfect. I store all my video files and photo files on the SSDs. So I actually, only, I actually have about 100 gigs left of storage on the actual laptop because I only use apps and stuff on the laptop and then any, anything extra goes into these SSDs. I always recommend getting the SSDs externally and keeping the storage on the Mac as low as possible just to save a bit of money. Obviously, if you need the extra storage on your Mac, go for it. But if you can afford to not have it stored on your Mac and have it stored on external SSDs, they're just way cheaper. So may as well use your money a bit better by getting the SSDs. So the monitor is also the same as previously. It is the LG 27UL850-W. So always a mouthful to name these monitors, but I've had this one for about 18 months now and it's a really great monitor. I've no plans to upgrade it and Kind of the main reason why I got it is because it has the USB-C connectivity so one cable can go into my Mac and it charges it and extends the display. That's the same for my work laptop, I also use a MacBook so very easy to use and from what I can tell the screen is really good. I've never really used a 5K or a really premium uh, monitor so I don't really know what I'm missing out on but yeah this to me seems really good so I'm going to continue using it for a while. I have it mounted on a very cheap monitor arm. Um, the stand it comes with is okay, but it kind of has this big arc on the bottom and it just takes up a lot of space on your desk. So I mounted it to the monitor arm, very basic. I have one that doesn't really move up and down. You can just kind of swivel it around. I found that once I set it to a particular height, I don't really need to move it again. So I just got this really cheap one off Amazon. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about, and it's actually my favorite part of the desk setup. It's my most recent purchase, and it's the desk shelf. So I've been on the market for a desk shelf for a long time. I think they're great at just providing a bit of storage to a desk. Before I had it, you know, you had stuff everywhere, and now I can just kind of tuck things underneath it or on top. And yeah, they just, they just add a nice dimension to a desk setup. I was tempted to go for the famous Grove Made option. I know a lot of people will go for that. But I decided to go for the setup cockpit from a company called Belolo in Germany. And there are two reasons for that. So one, it's just a little bit different. Not many people have it. And then two is they have a load of accessories that they sell on top of the setup cockpit. So they kind of get you in that way, but I think the accessories work really well with the setup cockpit. As you can see here, I have my laptop sitting on a laptop riser and that is just mounted underneath. So there's loads of different mounting points. You can get phone stands and headphone stands and all these different types of things and build it out how you want. But I have the laptop riser here and it's mounted underneath and it just sits perfectly. It's made out of metal. It has felt to kind of protect the laptop 
and it just lines up perfectly with your monitor um, it's very seamless and it allows me to just have you know uh, touch ID available right there there's no desk space being taken up and overall it's just a very premium product I went for the American walnut finish and I think the two-tone look with the dark bamboo that I have on my tabletop is actually really nice the products are very premium they come in paper packaging there's no plastic or anything like that and yeah overall I'm just very impressed with it it has actually forced me to change how I kind of use my desk so before I used to always use my laptop in clamshell mode and I have this one here where you kind of stick the laptop in and it closes in on the laptop so it's a pretty cool laptop stand in case you want to check it out but now I have it sitting here I have the dual screen set up and yeah it's just very clean it works really well as a result, I know that the two USB-C ports are always gonna be on the left-hand side. So I've actually mounted my Cal Digit dock to the underside of my desk with double-sided sticky tape. And then I've routed a Thunderbolt 4 cable over here. So it's always available and I can just plug it in and then plug in my SD card slots and all that kind of stuff. So it's cleaned up my setup a lot and I can just plug in and get going at whatever I need to do. But very impressed with the setup cockpit and Belolo as a company is really good, delivery is really good, products are very premium and they look great as well. So I've also got a new chair which I'm sitting in now, it's called the Langfell, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but I think it's a Langfell chair from Ikea. Previously I had the Marcus chair and they're kind of priced similarly but I would definitely recommend this one over the Marcus chair if you're in the market for a new office chair. The Marcus chair obviously has the really high back which at the time of getting it I thought that was important because you know it's nice to lie back but having looked at chairs over the net last two years none of the really good ones have neck rest you don't really need a neck rest your head's okay sitting as it is none of the herman miller chairs have neck rest so that was a bit of a waste and the fact that it was such a high back kind of closed off the room it made it feel smaller and i'm in quite a small room at the moment anyway so having the tall chair made it a bit smaller and the fact that i have a sit stand desk the Marcus chair wasn't able to tuck in underneath so when I had it in standing position it was kind of tucked in over there and it just was a bit awkward whereas the Langfell one you can raise up the desk and it slides in underneath and yeah it's just a much better chair overall I got it in this grey and white colorway would have been nice to get it in the darker colorways but they didn't have them available so I just went for this one and it looks fine it's not a big deal but definitely way more comfortable than the Marcus chair Okay, so now moving on to kind of the smaller things on my desk, the little peripherals and stuff like that. First things first, the keyboard, one of the most important things at a desk setup, and it is the Logitech MX Keys Mini. Made a video about it, I love this keyboard. It's so good. As I said a few times, I work from home and I have my personal laptop. So this enables me to switch between them so quickly. It's just a tap of a button and you've switched over. It's nice and compact. It types really well. I would like to obviously have a mechanical keyboard and I will build one eventually, but they are quite pricey. So this does for now. And yeah, I love this keyboard. It's silent and really nice to type on. With that, I also have the Logitech MX Master 3. I've had this for a good few years now, I think two years now at this stage, and it's a great mouse. It's so comfortable. I almost struggle to use other mice now because I'm so used to the ergonomic fit. They did upgrade it to the 3S, but I think the only difference is it's now a silent click, which isn't worth the upgrade. But yeah, this is a solid mouse. You can customize it however you want with all the different buttons. And yeah, highly recommend this set if you are looking for a keyboard and mouse combo. Alongside that, I also have the Magic Trackpad from Apple. This is not a necessary purchase. It's a nice to have thing. A lot of the time I'd have my laptop in clamshell mode and just be using the monitor. So having the trackpad is nice to be able to use all the different gestures that Apple offers and to be able to scroll through timelines and stuff like that. Definitely not necessary, so if you're on the fence about buying one instead of a mouse or alongside your mouse, maybe use your money elsewhere because it's only a nice to have feature. It doesn't really change anything at your desk setup. It's just nice to have if you do have one. All of those peripherals are sitting on this black leather desk mat or faux leather desk mat. It's really nice, it was cheap off Amazon and it just stops the kind of desktop from getting any scratches or anything like that. The desktop is bamboo so it kind of nicks quite easily if you put stuff down on it, it can leave dents. So the desk mat is quite important to stop that from happening. A couple of other accessories that I have on my desk are this little digital timer. So it's a very simple product but Last year I had a major issue with procrastination. 
I couldn't focus and I was always distracted by my phone and social media. I found that having this little device, I know you don't need it, you can time stuff on your phone, on your laptop, but having this little device for timekeeping just allows me to focus and get the job done that I need to do. I just set 45 minutes or an hour and I just focus on one thing at a time and it really helps. Very simple, very cheap on Amazon, but well worth getting because it means you can put your phone in a different room and just focus on what you have to do. I'll link everything down below in case you want to check it out for yourself. Okay, so a couple of other things that I have on my desk. I have the AirPods Pro original version, so Gen 1, and these are great. I have them connected to my personal laptop and phone. So if I'm listening to music, watching YouTube videos or podcasts or anything like that, I use these. Then I also have the Nothing Ear Ones. I've spoken about them a few times on my channel and I think they're great. I did get them when they first came out, so they were 99 euro, which I thought was an absolute steal. Now they're 150 euro, so not as good a deal, but probably still worth it because they are quite cheap still in the scheme of things. And I have these connected to my work laptop, so it's handy to just have a dedicated pair for connecting to your laptop so you can do calls and stuff like that. And then lastly, I have the Nothing Ear Stick. So I just got these recently. Um, I'm testing them out, comparing them to the other two AirPods and Nothing Ear Ones, and I'll have a video coming out in them soon, giving my thoughts on them. Okay, so I only have three lights at my desk. I like to keep it nice and simple. I don't want to complicate anything. So I just have three. And the first one is the Govee Flow Pro light bars. These are just two LED light bars that stick to the back of your monitor and give off a nice glow against the wall. They do come with a camera that looks at the screen and tells the lights what color to put out. I took the camera off because it looked a bit silly and it's not necessary for a monitor. It's probably more useful for a TV. That's why I'd probably recommend the cheaper version that I think they're called the Govi LED light bars without the camera. They're much cheaper and you don't need a camera but for looking at your monitor basically. Also I have this salt lamp here in the corner as you can see in the shot and I just like how it looks. Supposedly there's some healing properties, I'm not sure I buy it but if there is it's a bonus because I have it lit the whole time. I just think it gives off a nice warm glow. And lastly, I have the monitor light that I purchased two years ago from a company called Quintus off Amazon, and it's great. I love these monitor lights, I've talked about them loads. Basically, they are space saving and they light up the desk evenly, so if you're riding, there's no shadows or anything like that. There's no glare on the monitor and there's no glare in your face, so it just lights up everything perfectly. And if you are in a dark room, it is good to have a few other lights other than the monitor. Apparently it helps with eye strain. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about, and it's a little bit boring, but it's quite important when you do have a sit-stand desk, or any desk for that matter, and that is cable management. So I think it's common knowledge that the best way to manage cables with a sit-stand desk is to mount a power strip to the underside of the desk, and then anything that needs power on the desk plugs directly into that. I got this one off Amazon and it's surge protected. It has six ports to plug into and then three USB-A ports and one USB-C port. So I'm pretty much covered for everything that I need. And then when I mount this to the underside of the desk, the cable goes into the wall. And that's the only thing that you see, the only cable that you see. Then also, because there's loads of loose cables on the underside, I have these sticky cable ties, which kind of stick them to the underside of the desk and make it nice and clean. And then lastly, I got this cable tray from Fully. The reason I went for this one, you can go for any type of cable tray, but I went for this one because you can kind of open it up and access the cables. My setup is quite basic, so there's not too many cables underneath, but the LG monitor has this massive power brick. So it's great to have this cable tray to throw that in there and tuck it up underneath the desk. All right, so that's it for my desk setup for 2023. No doubt it'll change throughout the year. As I said, I might look into getting some speakers and stuff like that, but that's how it is right now at the start of 2023. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.